I'm just in the hedge now and uh, I'll just look at the height of these that they are at now and they're very easy for me to, to manage. So it's the ideal height where I can get in if I want to and just keep the top uh, any bit of shoots that come off and just try and train them over the top and then not let it get any higher. So that's a good height for both of them and they're just next to each other so and it's easy because there's a clearance in here relatively easy to get a ladder up on this inside if I, if I need to to uh, do any lowering myself so that you can see how thick the trunk is up there where they cut it and that just shows you how much bigger it was above that so it's, it's not too bad now I'm just uh, down here this is my electrical connections for the, for the light that's there <coughs> that's the lawn behind there so I'm just inside the hedge here at the minute You can see the tree rings on this and this is not the base this is at the top um, where it's been left and that's 38 tree rings there 38 years so that, actually that conifer maybe is more than 60 years old um, because um, if, it, if it up there it's got 38 tree rings we're talking about the height they've cut it up there then that's above that, you could talk about 38 years of growth up there, to there, like right up there where it was. So, yeah, I mean, yeah. of course the sun's going to come across now and we're going to get that extra sun that we don't, haven't been getting in the evenings here. So it's Thursday night. Last night I got these oranges, I think it was last night, um, massive ones reduced from 1.99 to 20 pence. They're huge things. Look at the size of that's like in my hand there, like that. Uh, four, 20 pence. And tonight at Morrison's, got all these. The 15 pence was 149 for each of these nets of sweet clementines, or whatever they are. I don't know what um, can't remember how many nets I got there. Also at Morrison's, the cauliflowers for 16p. So uh, I've got a couple, there's one, so look, that one. Uh, not too bad condition. This one's completely pristine condition, but it's small, but that's okay. For 16p, it's not bad. Packs of four scones were nine pence, plain scones. They've been 85p. The finger rolls, which are quite soft mostly, these are five pence for six, so it's less than a penny each. Um, at the, so also at Morrison's, 33 pence each was this diced pork. Um, it, I know it says pig's kidney on there, but there were 33 pence, and all of them were 33 pence, no matter, even though it says 63 pence, they all came off at 33 pence. So there's diced pork, three packs, some donuts for 11 pence. At the co-op, there was these pizzas for 15 pence each, some bread for 12 pence, which I also got 25 pence off, and there was some eggs. Um, which is the top notch ones have been 235. I mean, you don't, they're not, this is lies, no free range eggs at the minute. Um, but anyway, uh, it seemed all right, six or four, so 47 pence. So I've got, got them, so it's not bad. And a baguette as well, yeah, I got a baguette. I uh, also got these, um, what are the steak, the best big steak and ale pasties, being three pounds, 15 pence each. The, the big ones. So, yeah. so it is Thursday evening. There's a been a nice sunset, and it's um, nearly nine o'clock now. But still, light in the sky as you can see. That's Oakley Moor over there. That's uh, one of the trees that was trimmed top was taken off just there probably in Alice and Stephanie's room yeah, Alice is in the dark in Duolingo is that a language thing mm -hmm. oh, you're at a very high level is that right well, not very high level but but a good level yeah I guess oh, okay and we'll have a look at the um, the shower 
So the sealant has been down for, uh, did I put it in yesterday or the day before? Yeah, I think it might be yesterday, it was completed. So it's had all yesterday and all of today to fully cure. So it's all around the bottom. Some of the part way up the middle sort of junction tile there. Um, and then all along here, and even at the front, I've sort of just sealed in this as well, to stop any drips that come down here. Um, see, when I put the, the board on the front, I'll seal all that fully up as well. Um, I even put some in there, look, and uh, along, along here. So what we'll do is I'll do a test run, we'll, we'll scoot some water on the tiles and everything, and uh, I'll shine a torch and I'll get down and have a look and see if at the back of there, see if I can see any drips or leaks or anything like that. So we'll do a few test runs before um, and make sure before I put that board back on. So I might leave that off another week or two just so I can keep an eye on anything it develops uh, for, through use over a couple of weeks because obviously with it being flexible, stand on it, it moves and there might just be a bit of movement and give in it and then after a few uses a leak might develop. So I'm just going to Keep that board off, check after each use, make sure there's no leaks and then uh, once I'm happy and confident that it's bone dry under there, then I'll seal that back up again. Um, I even put sealant around all of these different different bits, even the soap dish, just to make sure there's no ingress of water going into where the screws are through the tiles or anywhere like that, like around here for example. Put sealant around, all around around the edge of this, edge of anything like that. Oh, yeah.